So in this video, we'll be creating three different pages for cart, contact, and orders. All right. So let's get started. So let me uh, click on right click on uh, cart and uh, choose that file. Here I'll be creating a new file called CRT cart cart dot home. And like we uh, created a stateful widget in uh, the last video uh, where uh, we created the home page. Similarly, we have created one new uh, a stateful widget in the cart.dart page and here let us name the this stateful widget as cart okay and let me import okay why it's not working okay so let, let me import the cupertino uh, dot dart file here all right and here instead of using the constant placeholder let us use scaffold widget okay and uh, inside scaffold widget let us again uh, use uh, body uh, in the body let us use a column or single side scroll view as we'll be uh, scrolling the page sorry single side scroll view and now child equals column and inside column we'll be creating children the first children will be a container Okay, and inside container we'll be uh, writing simply like uh, child equal text, and here let me write this is this is our card page, e as a page. Okay, and so include this symbol here. Okay, so we have created our card page. Now let me go to uh, uh, main dot dart, and here let us use instead of uh, redirecting the uh, user directly to home page, let us take the card page at first. So I'll be renaming the page as card. Okay, and here automatically dart imported the card dot uh, dart file here. Okay, and now I'll be able to see the card dot dart file here. Let me reload the page or the app. Sorry. Now I can see this is our card page message in the extreme left side of this screen. So let me go to card.dart file and here let us use margin and edge insets dot all. Now let me use 100 and let me check. This is our card page alignment main axis alignment let us make it al alignment dot center left not dot center left dot alignment dot center right top center exactly on the center okay so now i can see it exactly on the center so this is our card page and even here let me uh, make the font size a bit bigger so now style style equal to textile textile uh, size size e font size equals twenty. I can make it even bigger. 25. This is our card page. So in this page, we'll be de developing the card section of this application. All right. So for the time being, I'm simply uh, checking whether it works or not. And uh, now we have to create the contact page or the contact screen. So let me write contact and contact.dart gets automatically generated stateful widget and the name of this widget will be contact and let me import the material dot sorry the cupertino dot dart file okay and now i will simply go to card dot dart as we have designed uh, the page and let me copy from return scaffold to line number 26 and i will simply paste it here sorry i will simply paste it here 
And I also have to import the material.dart file. Everything is working fine now. And this will be our contact screen. Sorry, in application, we don't have to make uh, pages. We have to make screens. All right. So let me also write screen here. So this is our card screen. And if I go to main.dart and import the uh, contact contact.dart file and if I redirect the user to contact sorry contact now I will be able to see contact.dart now I'll be able to see this is our contact screen but I think here I have made some mistake. Okay, so this is our context screen. It means uh, when a user at first loads the app, he is automatically redirected to the context screen. So last screen which we have to do is the order screen. For that, we will do similar task. We will at first create a screen called orders. Okay, let me rename it. So let me delete this screen. Okay, okay, and oh, I should wait a few seconds because it's searching if the file is in use or not. Now, let me create one Dart file called orders. Okay, orders to Dart, and I will create a stateful widget, and the name of the widget will be orders. Okay, and I will import the following files. And I will go to cart. I will go to cart and return scaffold. I'll simply copy the enter codes from here and paste it here. Now I have to import the material.dart file. And I will go to line number 21 and write that this is our order screen. All right. So this is all. Now I will simply go to main.dart file and let's check redirecting the user to our order setting. Yeah, we are developing the order screen, order space. Okay, now we should wait a few seconds and now I can see the order screen has also been created and is associated with the main.dart file. But we don't have to associate all the three files like card, home and orders with orders dot, so with uh, main.dart file. Okay, so instead we'll be redirecting the users to home.dart file so that the users will now be able to uh, 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 see the home screen at first when they log uh, or when they open the app, they will be able to see the screen. Okay, and once they click on the drawer button, there will be some uh, links of the screen like view card, view orders, and contact us. So if someone clicks on view card, he will be able to uh, uh, go to the cart screen automatically. And if someone clicks on orders page, then he will be automatically uh, able to uh, check the orders page. So this is all for today. In the next video, we'll be linking the screens with this navigation links. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for further updates.